Great timing, wow. Good morning, everybody. Me and my mama are on our way to work. No, you're Me fine, you're fine. <laughs> we're like, we, we're going around. Merging. Them. Yeah. Uh, but good morning. We're on our way to Mercy. I'm getting an upper endoscopy to recheck the cultures because last time I got an upper endoscopy, they did the Botox injections in my stomach. I don't think I ever talked about that on my channel. I think I meant to in the hospital vlog that I didn't upload. But yeah, so they found a fungus and my results were insane. They, I had like 28,000 like something was my level of fungus in my small intestine. So I was on a med for 21 days to treat that. So yeah, while we're doing the upper endoscopy, we're gonna see how things look in there, do more bacteria cultures to make sure that I don't need to do another treatment to treat any more fungus. I have been doing better. I think that that was significantly why. But yeah, I'm also getting my G-tube replaced today because as you all know, I have like two holes, three holes at this point in my G-tube, so he has to completely replace it. He can't just replace the tube, so those are the two things I'm doing today, so. <laughs> Hello. We are in the parking garage now. We got our parking ticket and everything. We'll have to get the validation. We have my walker too. Okay, let me get my mask so. on. This is my new N95. She's all sturdy and new. Oh. I don't want to have to take off my new necklace. I'm obsessed with it. Me and Autumn wrapped them the other day. The procedure. Oh! I was fighting this on the whole drive here. Okay, let's go. We were at 123, but we're doing a little bit. We'll see. Oh, no, going back up. <laughs> this ramp, it's gonna skyrocket. What you wanna bet? Little ramp, 126. Just took my pregnancy test. Can I take off this visitor? They made me take it off last time, so I'm gonna have to. This is my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a pink cami and these little PJ bottoms I got, but we're gonna say goodbye to this too because it's old, gross, and has tape on it. <laughs> so, it's cool. I gave my mom my Apple Watch and my necklace. My crystal necklace that I wrapped. It's so pretty, but I'm just gonna bring my walker back in my clothes so I don't on my phone, obviously, so that not much important stuff is back there with me. I got my band, and I should be going back soon. And it's just a double check, we do it on everybody. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> like, be better to be safe than sorry. For sure. And then you have, do you, is that a pick? Yes. Okay, do you want us to use that for your procedure? Yes, okay, please. Perfect. Yep. That way we don't have to She's all new, so she, she, she should be all good. I just <laughs> got it replaced last week. Let's go ahead and pull down a little bit. Tickles. It's better than the brain one. I know we don't really do that anymore. I hate that one. They do that in the hospital occasionally. And really? I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I'm back in the room. That's my rapid COVID test that we just took. But yeah, this is my outfit. This cami is from Forever Getting One. These I got for Christmas. And then I'm just wearing my Juicy Couture booties. But I'm about to change into the gown for the procedure. So. I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I have my walker, I put all my clothes and my medical tag and like everything in here. Looks like they already got the fluids up there ready for me. Here's the uh, ultimate hospital outfit. <laughs> Procedure outfit. Cute. Vogue. Gosh.
titles. I got a warm blanket. Hooked up the fluids. I am COVID negative. <laughs> That's good. She took my temperature and it said like 101. So we were like, that's not right. We took it again, I was 98. So, so it turns out I'm gonna get a shorter tube, which is awesome because this one is really kind of like obnoxiously long. So he said, we're gonna get a tube that's like this long probably. If you're wondering, this is a bruise from when I fell in my house because I'm clumsy and I fall and trip all the time. So yeah. Alrighty, I'll see you back there, okay? See you back there. That's my favorite doctor. Time to go. I'll see you all on the other side. <laughs> go. Did everything go all good? Yeah. Dr. will come in and talk to you too. Okay. Um, before you go, of course. But yep, everything went good. They replaced your tube. Um, if you look at it, they, you'll see April, the OR nurse, she put a little um, four by four around it just because it's probably gonna ooze a little bit. Okay. Yay, shorter tube. I like that a lot better. The other one was really long. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Definitely I lost a lot less pain the second time. First initial placement was horrible. This, I feel fine. <laughs> I am all done. Back in the car. <laughs> Autumn is coming over once I get home, so that'll be good. Miss Luna. Hi, puppy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I made her little bed so she'll cuddle. Alright everyone, I am home. I am going to take a nap. Autumn is picking up some subway sandwiches for her and my mom for lunch. They told me very specifically to not push it, to basically not eat today unless it's liquid. Because uh, they said after the sedation, after the surgery, like my stomach can be very sensitive. So I'm probably not going to eat it. anything today. and Probably maybe a yogurt, but that's going to be it. Um... This is what it looks like. Definitely like the shorter tube better. It's way more like functional, but there is no clamp. So stuff just kind of comes out free ball. So I don't know, but putting earplugs in and I'm gonna crash because I'm tired and I need to nap. But I hooked myself up to fluids so that I could get some extra fluids. guys so i know i'm not usually the one that talks to you but Lindsay has just got home from her t-tube replacement she's very tired the anesthesia is still taking its time to wear off she's connected to a bag of fluids and she's just all asleep which she needs that good rest but i have now shown up because her mom took her so i just showed up afterwards yeah i just wanted to say hi give you guys a little post-op update. She's doing good. She definitely said that it does not feel as bad as it did when it originally got put in. You know, it's still painful, but manageable. So that's good. And today and tomorrow are definitely just gonna be rest days. I'm here to just, I'm literally just gonna lay with her while she naps, see if she needs anything. If she's still asleep, I'll give her her Zofran so that way she's not behind or anything. I'll get fluids from downstairs so she's not having to like climb the stairs. Getting up, you know, just like doing little things. But like climbing the stairs is definitely going to be hard for a little bit. Yeah, I just want to say hi because I never get to talk to you guys. And I wanted to leave a little message for my baby because I love her. <sighs> I, have to, I have to tell you guys, I love Lindsay so much. It's crazy. Like... I don't even know how to express that she is my one true love, my soulmate, my... Oh, 
I love her so much and I'm so thankful that I met her and that I get to be a part of this family with you guys and uh, this year is gonna bring great things and I can't wait to see how everything turns out and that we get to bring you along with. So I'll see you guys later. Bye! All right, everyone, well, I did my Capra. Autumn is setting up TBN for me right now. And then I'm just gonna connect and go to bed. I'm exhausted. I don't even know what time it is. 8.50, okay, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, it's my bedtime. But I just cleaned, I just changed out my padding. It hurts, it hurts a lot, but I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll check in tomorrow when I'm feeling better. And with how I'm doing and my tubes doing and everything. Hey everyone, it's the day after my G-tube replacement and I'm about to drain. I just wanted to share with you all because one, a lot of people are like, why do you have a G-tube? Because I have really bad gastroparesis. And two, really because of this. Because my body for some unknown reason produces crap tons of bile which if you don't know, bile is what breaks down the food that you eat in your stomach. And most people have a gallbladder to, which I'm gonna call it, oh God, brain fog. <laughs> gallbladder to control the dispensary of your body's bile. But I got my gallbladder removed in college. So now this is why I'm nauseous all the time because my body's constantly producing bile and it sits in my stomach. So that's a really big reason I have the tube is so that I can drain the bile so that my nausea day to day is not as severe and or bad because if I don't drain it and it builds up, I will be throwing up in the hospital. <laughs> Guaranteed. You see how green and like gross that is? That's all bile. And if I don't get that out of my body on a normal basis, it's gonna build up and make me throw up and end up in the hospital. So that's a really big reason I have my tube. The second reason is so that I can drain things that I eat. I haven't really been doing solids. The only solid I've really done is sushi and I can drain a lot of that. And I typically take out the seaweed as I'm chewing it because that's the hardest thing to get out. But I do those things in very small quantities, very small amounts. So it's never too much for my stomach because my stomach does not move the stuff that I put in it, so. Just wanted to share that today. I'm hooked up to Kepper right now and then I will be doing fluids, but I got a package yesterday. I wasn't feeling good enough to open it up yesterday, so I'm opening it up today, but it's from my friend Sabrina who owns Bina's Buttons and More, and I'm actually an ambassador for her shop. She does tubi clips, tubi pads, pick line access, shirts, port access shirts, port pillows, like she does it all. So I'm so excited to open it. I'm gonna unbox it with you all today. Ooh, ah, I'm so excited. Ah, ah. Oh, there's goodie in here. She did say there's a little surprise in here, so I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. So cute. No. She wrote me a little note. I love you, Sabrina. You're awesome. You're definitely brighten brightening my day right now. So much love to you. Okay, I want to open this now. Oh, I'm so excited. This is thick. <gasps> oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. It's just a black sweatshirt, but it's Pickline Access. Look at it. There's a zipper. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, it's so soft on the inside. Okay, <laughs> stay less. <laughs> I'm wearing this all winter. <laughs> it's been so cold, it's literally been like 12 degrees in Maryland. It's absolutely insane. But yes, this is my first pick line access hoodie. There's a hood on it. I love hooded things because it's my way of kind of like cocooning. It's like a comfort thing. I just do this and I like hiding and forgetting about the world. And I love that it's black because black goes with everything. I love this so much. Thank you, Sabrina. It's got pocket down here, which is, oh my God, even better. I love having a little pocket there because I hate not having something to put my phone in. But her little logo is right there. Her little penis buttons. You know, the little bumblebee. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much, Sabrina. I can't wait to wear it and take pictures for you. And this is the surprise. I'm so excited to see what she sent. It's Valentine's Day themed. Instructions card, which I think is so cute and personalized. Ooh, oh, the little Valentine's Day. <gasps> Oh my God, I love these. Oh, I'm such a sucker for pink. <laughs> Y'all already know it's my favorite color. It's what my crystal is wearing, that I'm wearing. A rose or a quartz, which helps with 
healing and body image and all that fun stuff. Self-love. Oh, so she sent me, ooh, I forget how soft her tubey pads are. Like they're literally so soft. Oh, these are so cute. These are absolutely adorable. Oh, you all have to go check these out. So she sent me this one, which is red with little X's and hearts on it. Oh my gosh, so cute. And like I said, so, so, so soft. And then this one, I think this is my favorite because it's white and pink and this thing is pink. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Okay, you're definitely gonna see me in these on Valentine's Day. I gotta say, I think this is my favorite because of the little pink hearts, the pink and red hearts and the pink hardware. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Thank you so much, Sabrina. You really did just make my day. Ah, go check her out. Her link is always in my bio, my description. Good, it's going down. But I was hovering in the hundreds for like five minutes. Yeah. What? Really weird. I've been sitting. A little bit. Oh. It is cold. I'm just trying to get my heart rate up so I can take my blood pressure. So I walked to the mailbox because that's my cardio. <laughs> post, yeah. post to run to the mailbox. <laughs> my heart rate was, my watch is reading 130 and it was 155. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. <laughs> this is floor time. Okay, it's going back down. I'm pretty good, lying down. <laughs> it's gonna take me like 10 minutes to get up from this position. Too. I just. Luna! Luna! You're talking. It's the lid. We're not talking about this right now. Ready? Ready? Hey! Oh my god, leave the little alone. <laughs> Nosy. <laughs> well, what's for cats? Secret. Good. She's like, give it to me. <laughs> she just drops it. Can you squeak? Can you squeak? <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to do anything else. Go. Go. She's definitely confused was, from you being on the floor. I know, me sitting, she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm just editing and I just got a heart rate alert from my watch. I don't get these that often because my heart rate isn't typically high when I'm sitting, but I guess it was. Let's look at it. Huh. I've been sitting down this whole time. My heart was doing this the other day too. Do any other Spoonies have this issue? Because this happened while I was sitting downstairs the other day too. But I actually got the alert this time. You're always meowing when I am having medical issues. I don't like that. That makes me very uncomfy. Ugh, no wonder I was short of breath. I knew there was a reason I just wasn't caring enough to pay attention. I got up to 112. I have not moved. My resting when I'm sitting is typically in the 70s. So I don't know why when I've been sitting this entire time that I'm still... Yeah. I just got a heart rate alert that I've been above 100 for 10 minutes of inactivity. And I'm probably... <laughs> so fun all right everyone well that is it for today's video i really i'm literally finishing editing it right now i'm just filming an outro because i forgot to but thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end you're an og and i love you so much thank you and yeah don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you know whenever i upload but i really hope that you enjoyed today's video and coming with me on a typical procedure day this is kind of a standard part of my life at this point but i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope you can relate to it and feel less alone in your journeys and battles you are all strong warriors and i love you so much and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye
Ah!